see I'm a working person too. Way I'm anyway, what I want to do is go back to basics. This country was founded on the Bible. That's how we got started. We have gotten so far away from the Bible to, you know, we can't recognize it. Constitution, even the Bible. So what I'm looking at, to get back to basics, I want to start a revolution in this country. We need two things. We need a, a Christian revival and we need a political revival. I can't do the Christian part, but I can do the political. Y'all give me a chance. My pledge is, okay, we won't term limitations. I will stay in Washington four years. Can't do it four years, you come on in. I will take a salary of $38,000, which is a mean salary in this district. I will keep my health plan, I'll keep my retirement. But the most important thing, there will be a sign. No lobbies allowed in this office. These are the people that run our country. It's not politicians, it's the lobbyists. The lobbyists get together in a room like this and they decide, my corporation wants this bill. The lobbyists say, well, I got him on the table. He's on the payroll. He'll put the bill on the table. The rest of them say, well, we'll vote for it. So that's who's running our country. It's got to stop. We've gone so far, we are, I'd say we're right out of depression. We are busted. This country is broke. We don't have any money. I've had a little store 37 years down in Baltimore. Okay? Last year was the first year in 37 we didn't show up. It was a small loss, but still it's just a dream. There, I see 100 years ago, 33% of all people working on farms, 2% today. We had people working in factories. Both of our mills are closed in Baltimore. There was one individual that was a deciding vote on the capital back in 2005. That was Mr. Joe Wilson. He voted for capital. He was the deciding vote at 12.30 at night. Okay? That was 2005. 2006, he voted for another freedom of, I uh, guess you say, trade in Peru. Did the same thing in 2007. We cannot afford any more free trade with anybody. We're going to get back to the basics. We've got kids right now that have no job opportunities. Only 40% of the kids graduated from college last year got jobs, but yet they owe $30,000 in loans. We have a $1 trillion debt in student loans. We have address the credit card debt. We're looking at a situation that we don't get back to the basics. We've got to look at the government has to trim down. I worked 26 years at SBA. I started in a bank. I went to savings and loan. I've had six different businesses. I understand business. The government does not. Anything the government gets involved in, they mess it up. I've been on two school boards, one in Barnwell, Lexington one. The system, as far as the schools, is broken. We need to get rid of the Department of Education. That's the first thing. Get back to the basics in education. <coughs> Second, it's not the taxes killing the business. It's EPA. It's regulations. I go through story after story. People are coming to the business down in Baltimore that they can't even get started because of the regulations. They're busted before they get started. They spend an additional thirty, forty thousand dollars just meeting requirements to go the door. So we're looking at this. So that's what I've got to say. We're looking at June the twelfth. Please vote. And now I'd like to have questions. Anybody have any questions? Somebody's got to have a question. <laughs> Somehow oh, oh, have to get the word out that Joe Wilson is coming to send us home. Well, it's time. But like I said, people say, well, Phil, you've never been to Washington. Joe was not in Washington between before 2001. The staff is there. The office is set up. You don't go in and start from scratch. So it's an easy transition. The thing I want to do is put bills on the table. The first is to eliminate the Department of Education, like I said. I want to cut back on EPA. I want to look at it and spend more Obamacare. Why has Joe put the bill to abolish it? We can go away with it. It's not constitutional, but nobody wants to tackle the fact that we've got to eliminate it. It's been three and a half years. We haven't had a budget. We don't have a budget, but the simple fact we don't have enough money coming in to make a budget. Okay? We're broke. We look at, I'm paying that here. I'm 67 years old. I pay $96. It's going up to 110, then 115. And I think by 214, we're going to pay $205 when I'm out of here. Yep. And the average people getting $800 in Social Security can't afford to pay an additional 150 bucks on this out of here. We've got to look at it if we start now, we can get back to the basics. 
you can't wait another two years, another four years. But if y'all will give me an opportunity, all I ask for is not your money. I'll take no contribution. In fact, a good friend of mine who, he's pretty <coughs> successful. He asked me, you know, does Phil, I said, I'll give you cash, give you a check. I said, no, don't want your money. All the most precious things that you got, you vote. He told a friend of mine, he said, Phil, it's soft to be held today. So he wouldn't take the money. <laughs> but I can't be bought. I'm an individual. I can prove that. Go wherever I've been, everybody says, Phil is what he is. What you see is what you get. Yes, ma'am. How are you going to get the word out to just everyday people? Joe Wilson's got money. The way I have done, this is the third time I've run. So I've been on the um, ticket two other times. Back um, back in the week, I spoke to the state convention. All right. And the thing was, I said, folks, uh, we are in a situation where we're on the wrong road. We've got to change the direction. Nobody doesn't. And that time, of course, we didn't have a state convention. This year, I spoke in District 2. They wouldn't let me speak to the State Convention. No, I spoke in here. And from that standpoint, but what's going to get me elected is you people, the groups like this. I'm sending out emails. I'm sending out my, um, uh, my uh, Facebook. But that's what's going to do it. That do, takes do the you place. Yard signs? Do you have yard I have some. You'll see them. I've got some deep places. I'm a one person show. I've got all the yard signs. I do all of everything. I don't have a I get to say campaign manager. In fact, I was speaking the other night. So, um, it was a Republican um, committee here, me. And Joe came with his campaign manager spoke. And I came up and I said, I'm sorry, folks. I don't have a campaign manager. I'm going to, you have to listen to me. So it's a one person. I'm not listening to other people. Other people are not telling me what to do. It's strictly me. And I am not running against Joe Wilson. I'm running for the people in this particular. So that's my story. <laughs> How come Joe Wilson needs $164,000 a year to work in Washington and you can do it on $38,000? Because I'm committed to get us back to basics. I don't, I have not just built a new house in my house or house at the beach. So, you know, it takes money to maintain those two things. But uh, that's my story. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get the word out. Um,